Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I want to show you how we can automatically execute our shell scripts using WayScript and the time trigger. The time trigger lets us execute these scripts every day, every hour, every minute, or our own custom cron syntax. Let's see how we can do this. Starting out, we'll go to WayScript.com and we'll create a new script. And then we'll click on create. And what this will do is give us access to the editor where we can put in our own logic and use their modules to build this application very quickly. All we need to do to begin automating the execution of our function, which is this tree right here under main, is to include a time trigger. The time trigger gives us access to these over here that we can run every day, every week, every hour, 10 minutes, minute, and much more. We could even put in our own custom cron syntax if we needed something more sophisticated. For this example, I'll just run the script every hour. Now that we have this, let's say in our script that we want to pass some variable to a CSV daily. We'll just create some variable by using the datetime module, and this will give us access to this variable of datetime, and then we'll use that shell script. Inside WayScript, we can write our own custom code for shell, Python, JavaScript, Java, and a lot more. We can do that by pulling in the respective module and then clicking open editor. Here, we're given access to the editor and also our file system over here. We see the base directory that I'm working in is the same title as my script name, and then all the files that we create inside of it will go under that directory. Let's say that we just want to write that variable to a CSV. We'll do something like echo, pass in curly brackets, and then pull in this pill of date time into our code. We're not writing this just yet. Let's go ahead and run it to make sure that everything's working and we should get back a result in our log, which we do. And now we can write this to a CSV. Since we don't have a CSV in our directory, we can just call this whatever we want without overriding anything. And then we'll say run. What this will do is create example.csv for us. Once that runs, we see that we now have example.csv over here in our file manager, and we can click on it, open it up, and we see that we've input that variable into it. You could imagine that this variable needed some processing, which you could do all inside this one shell script. I'll just keep it simple in this tutorial though and show you just how to write it. Then what we can do is if we want to use that Later on in our script, we can read it in as a CSV. We can set up the read and then select that file from our file manager. What this will do is give us access to these variables that we can use throughout the rest of our script. This is cool, but what can we do with these files once we write them inside the file manager? Perhaps we want to send them to a coworker or we want to host them at an endpoint. Let's host this one at an endpoint. We can do that by using another function by clicking add function up here in the top left. And that gives us another function that we can add modules to. We'll first add an HTTP trigger. And th what this will do is give us a URL that we can host our file download app. Then we can use a response. And here we can change our response type from HTML to download. And then we can select the example.csv file. Once we have this, we can open up the file manager and make sure that this is a public file by clicking the three dots and then switching on public. Now that we have everything built, we just need to be sure to turn it on. So we'll activate our two triggers. And now every time this runs, we'll get a new value added to our date times hourly. And we can go and download the CSV file from this URL hosted by WayScript. Opening that up, we see we get the option to download it. I know it's a simple example, but I wanted to show you just how easy it is to automate these types of interactions using the WayScript platform. We can set up automated runs on our shell scripts in just a few minutes. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll help you out. Until next time.